Welcome to Brother Owl's Garden. I'm Brian, and I honor your presence here today. One of the greatest struggles that we all face in life is um, the worry and the fear and the stressing out about not having enough, not having what we need. Now, in today's modern society, uh, most of us are aware that we have a misunderstanding about what it is we need. We are confused about, um, we're confused between um, all that we want to have, which is essentially never-ending when you go down that rabbit hole, um, and, and what we actually need. We really don't need all that much to be well and happy. Um, now, all extremes are the wrong path. So, opulence and indulgence is just as misguided, in my view, my understanding, as uh, a s extreme asceticism and denial of having all things. Um, as I've mentioned before in a previous video, in regards to attachment and all that, um, Detachment or non-attachment is not about having nothing. It's about letting nothing have you. We do need things in this life because we have incarnated into this avatar, this body, and um, it is a finite, physical, material thing uh, that has needs. We need a home. We need shelter. We need clothing. We need food. And then to the other levels that we complicate our life. We need, uh, you know, everything that we need, okay? Um, but the simpler that you can live happily, the better, of course. But again, the point was that we, we seem to live in this quiet dread, which ebbs and flows within our mind, um, which is a fear of lack. We are afraid of not having what we need. And what I'd like to posit today and present to you is consider the possibility that that is the fruit or the result of disconnect, ignorance, and forgetfulness. When we truly remember who we are, what we are, our origin, our nature, our divine inheritance and our destiny. When those things become clearer, that fear, worry, and doubt about lack and uh, not having enough, it doesn't, it doesn't fit anymore. It's on a very, very much lower vibration uh, that, that just can't hang with us anymore when we've increasingly remembered who we are why we're here, where we came from, and where we're headed. And also, <clears throat> and there's a, there's a bit of culpability here to be considered, but I think it's valid. I think that when we get into a, a mind state of fear of, or, and worry and doubt regarding, you know, not having enough, or I'm not going to have enough, or how am I going to ever pay for this need or meet that requirement, etc. Um, there is an inherent mistrust of divinity and yourself in upholding that mindset. What I mean is to continuously perpetuate a mindset of fear and worry and doubt about not having enough betrays or reveals at its base a mistrust or a distrust of self and the divinity of self and God. And if you don't like the word God, then put in the word that makes sense to you for there. Um, I think you, you get the point. So once we bring into consciousness, wow, I am actually living, I am living and acting out a mistrust in myself, meaning in, in capital S self, 
and, and divinity and divine providence and all of that. I know better than this. What am I doing? It can't perpetuate anymore. It can't, it can't continue on when we realign and reconnect and realize and remember the truths of who we are and how things are. So, in light of all that, um, I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and just follow along with your presence, your openness, and your receptivity to a very brief um, exercise, meditative exercise, in recentering, realigning, and reclaiming our birthright of abundance, providence, and fulfillment of all of our needs. Now, I'm not talking about having 18 Ferraris and all this. I'm talking about everything that you need. Give us this day our daily bread. The prayer does not say, give me right now everything that I may ever need for the rest of my life so that then I can take a deep breath and say, Whew, I don't have to worry about that anymore. That's not the prayer. Give us this day our daily bread. Trust and abide and live in that trust. Breathe and, and, and soak in that trust that everything you need is already on its way to you to be received in the moment that you need it. And you can exhale all of your worry, fear, and doubt, mistrust, questioning. And you can inhale the peace and safety and security and providence of your divine birthright as the I am. So join me as you close your eyes for a little meditative recitation exercise to help bring us home to remembering and trusting and resting in thankfulness for what is already ours and is already on its way before we know we need it. I am all I need is already mine it always has been and it always will be there is no delay there is no lack all I have ever needed and will ever need is already mine and comes to me in the right moment of my need. And I am thankful that I have always had all I ever needed all my life. It is long past time to set down old fears and worries which are really distrust. How could I have trusted the I am that I am? There is no more fear in me, only abundance and thankfulness. I am. I am thankful. I am thankful first before my blessings come because I live in pure trust of providence, 
sustenance, and love. And the more I give, the more that comes to me. Because I am not a receptacle, but a conduit of abundance and providence. The more that flows through me, the more that flows to me. I am. All I have ever needed has come to me when I needed it. All I ever need is already mine. I only need to ask in thankfulness and to receive in thankfulness and to share and give joyfully. The divine resources are infinite and inexhaustible. There is no depletion of them. I smile and I thank divinity for all that comes to me, even before I know I need it. There is no place for fear, second-guessing, worrying, doubting, or agitation within me. Because I know far higher truths than those fears could ever resonate within me. I let them all go now with a laugh. Thank you for the lesson. How did I ever doubt the I am that I am? I guess I forgot. But now I remember, and I smile and rest trustfully, abiding in the divine truth that all I ever need is already mine, and I am thankful. I am not a vault, I am not a container, I am not a place to store and accumulate divine providence, blessings, and anything that comes to me. I am not a bank vault of wealth locked up, all to myself, all for myself more, more, more. I am not that. But instead, I am a divine channel. I am a divine conduit. I am a divine portal of the infinite abundance and blessings that come through me. 
and I freely and joyfully share them and give them as the opportunities present themselves to me. Sometimes I am asked, sometimes I simply offer without being asked. And always, as much as possible, I give anonymously, privately, and quietly, so as to preserve the sanctity of the transmission of blessings. I am gifted the gift of gifting the gifts I've been gifted. The wellspring of my gifts is infinite, inexhaustible, and undepletable. It is a joy for me to freely share and give of all that comes to me and through me. And the more I do that, the more flows through me. I have learned that giving is wealth. I am and all I have ever needed and ever will need is already mine. In my previous fears and doubts, I had been knocking on the door, only to realize I'd been knocking from the inside, as Rumi said. All that I need is already mine. There is no limit. There is no delay. There is no lack. My thankfulness is a blessings magnet. The more thankful I am, the more I have reason to be thankful. My thankfulness is a blessings magnet. And I am thankful first, before blessings come. And I am also thankful for the blessings of denial. When I had wanted something that would be a disservice to me and I was spared it for reasons above my current understanding, I am thankful because I trust the I am that I am. 